Hello everyone, my name is Brandon Carey, aka New Dark Cloud, aka Enigma. And today I'm bringing something a little bit different than our usual card game based fare. This is, as the developer calls, a game for freaks. Which ends up being perfect for me. This is Neon White, and if you're not familiar with Neon White, and you might be because it's kind of a kind of a indie darling, seemingly overnight. It is a first-person shooter, but that description doesn't really do the game justice. It is probably more accurately described as a puzzle platformer with shooting elements, where. Kind of the goal is to do the... Like, it's a speedrunning game, where the goal is to complete each stage as fast as possible. And we're going to continue my save. I've already beaten the game. So this is kind of a, like, a post-game save. But thankfully, the game just lets you replay any of the missions that you've already played. And not really worry too much about it. So I've got a good stage to try. And actually, you know what? We can go back to title. We can try a level rush. We're not going to have time for this, but that's a cute idea, actually. Um, let's just go back to the game. And let's just go to something in the middle. A lot, like I said, I completely beat the game. Um, I have, I have completely, I completely finished the game. I have um, an ace time in every single run. Oh, and... uh, no, no. There are 12 sets of levels. Uh, this is like, I'm just figuring out what level I want to actually play for this. That's, that's actually the start of the beginning. That seems like an logical step. So as you can see, this is my current time. Everyone in my Steam friends list is uh, is here, and I guess I need to add you to my friends list at some point, um, Wyvern. But basically, the goal of this game is to be as fast as possible in getting to the end. And I already fucked up, so I was gonna try again and try to get. A I want to try to beat my time. You see that timer on the top. I'm trying to you want to try to get as good a time as possible. I don't think this is the fastest route. All right, he's already ahead of me and that's my ghost. The violent stages are tough. But right now, let's focus on just what this game is. Because this game is, at its core, a game about speedrunning. I just got, I beat my personal best. Still haven't beaten the best times for this course in my friends list, but it is an ace level. So let's keep going. And as you can see, like, there is shooting in the game. But the shooting isn't really the point. The point is the movement. It's funny you say that, Wyvern, because I actually had another a technical issue of myself, myself in playing this. And 
as you can see, here's where they start putting monsters here. And the thing about monsters is that you can't exit the level until you've beaten every demon in it. Uh, that's not a record. So the objective is to kind of route your way through the level so that you can kill all the demons as fast as you possibly can while still leaving yourself close to the exits you can leave. There we go, that's a record. Or that's not a record, but that's a new best for me. And this is kind of the loop. Is... If you're familiar with, like, the Tony Hawks and all of them of the world, the loop is just doing this. And trying to get the best times as possible. Ah, uh, missing one. And fortunately, the game knows its audience well enough to know that it needs a quick restart key so that you can fix yourself if you make a mistake. I just keep getting better and better. I'm gonna beat your time, Orange Cream Circle. I promise you fucking that. Um... Nope. Oh, that's not that's not a good time. Uh, no, no, you play um, we we play as Neon White the entire game, Wyvern. We, you don't switch. You never switch characters. All right, that's not a that's not it. No, that's not it. I just keep getting better and better. <clears throat> keep in mind this game just came out, so if they do something like that later, they that is totally something they might they might do. But fundamentally the the There's no real reason to do that. Because the character you play as almost doesn't really matter. Many could even say the story itself doesn't really matter. Because what matters is the actual, the gameplay, the movement. That didn't work. That's a, ton that's a record time. I just keep getting better and better. But this is the fundamental gameplay loop: is just trying to do courses as fast as you possibly can. That's really what it's about. And you'll notice the like the big mechanic at play are these cards we get. Now, these represent weapons. And I can use them as weapons. I'm using this for as pits as a pistol. But each weapon has a power associated with it. 
So I can have a jump. And if I if I right click, I can use I can consume the card to use its power. In this case, it's a jump in the air. And this purify here is a machine gun that its power is a targeted explosive. And that's managing your card resources is a such an important aspect of running this game. Because these these are what you use to do anything. This is what you use to do absolutely anything in this game are these cards. And we will jump, jump, and see... No, that's not a record. How do you fucking get 16 seconds on this? Oh my god. Uh, and that's mostly what we're doing. Is just trying to get the better times. I'm gonna do this one more run, and it doesn't look like I'm gonna actually beat one of my older times, let alone the record. Um, we will probably start moving on to the next level. And you'll see because I've beaten these level, I, I get those hints as to what the uh, the rec recommended route is for it. Because there is an obvious path. Like when you're playing level for the first time, you don't have those hints. The obvious path of what you're probably going to do. So let's follow this. Go up, up, up. Obviously, you, you'll just instinctually come down here, shoot this guy, and go this way. And then come up here. That's kind of the thing that you're expected to do, because that's the route that's most obvious. And that's not a bad time if you do it fast, but it's also not going to be the, pa the best possible time. But as you level up, you see, or as you, you do a stage over and over again, you get something called Insight, which one allows me to see like the ghost of my fastest run, which you're seeing right here. And then you get these hints that direct you towards solutions or alternate routes that you can use to improve your times. So the game doesn't, it doesn't really require you just so speedrun levels, although you you cannot advance. You can't advance um, unless you get enough gold or they call it ace. It's bronze, silver, gold, and ace medals. To advance the next stage. But if you're like me and you don't move on until you've aced a stage... That's not really a problem. Wyvern, that's actually not entirely true. Um, you do get extra insight for getting to a new tier. You get a whole point of insight. But you get a quarter point just for running a level. Even if you only get bronze. So if you just run enough times, even if you're not doing it great... You will eventually get the hints that the game is going to throw your way. Oh, you do not actually need aces. Um, you can... Um, you get your neon rank, which is what, what gates you. Um, here, let me actually back out and return to hub. Like, you see here this neon rank at the top of my screen. You start at rank 99. Or maybe even 100. 
I'm not entirely sure. But every time you score a gold or an ace, you get a neon rank up. It's either or. So if you get a gold and then an ace in the same map, that, that doesn't change your neon rank, because you've already got the gold for that for that that map. And the game only negates you behind needing a certain number of the of those ranks. Of those rank ups. So you don't actually need ace ranks to beat the game. I just did it because I'm a freak. And I thought that and I had fun doing that. That was fun for me. And so I did get ace rank on all of the stages and got my neon rank to rank one. Because I am a freak. A little freak like that. Uh, let's do some of the higher, the, lower, the later levels. So I remember how these levels play. And you'll see later on they start combining things together and you start having to really think about your run. Although honestly, the best runs I've ever had in this game are ones where I'm not thinking. I'm just going on instinct. Thankfully, I've already got an ace in this run and I have nothing to prove. Oopsie. Get this gun, make the jump, shoot you. I don't think I actually need the card there, so I'm gonna try again. Uh, so, fun story about that. I actually, um... I tried playing this on controller at first. Because this game does support controller. And... I, I had an issue where my right trigger was not proccing correctly. And since that's the one that fires the gun, I had a very difficult time. So I had to switch to keyboard and mouse. Fuck, this is not a good run. Fucked up. This game is not for everybody. I will say that right now. Like, if you're... the I, For me, the concept of restarting just to get, like, a fraction of a second more on these maps... That's appealing. I enjoy that. And if that's the kind of thing that you like doing, is like, you like making... getting, like close to perfect. This game is for you. But if you're not that, this game is going to do nothing for you. I think I, I think your double discard might actually be your mouse issue. Because I don't have that. I've not had that problem when I played this game. You might want to test on the mouse to see if that is if it's it's the mouse or if it's the, the actual game itself. Then again. As I said before, my um, my right trigger on my controller was not doing the gun as reliably as I needed it to for me to get the best run. And because it was not doing that, I had to actually 
throw like abandon use the controller, which does work when I play other games with it. So I'm not sure what happened there. But it's not working for me with this game. So I had to use keyboard and mouse, and I have not had an issue with keyboard and mouse ever since I started using it. It works perfectly fine for me. This is a fun level to uh, re redo. I missed a card. I will say one of the best things that this game has as an advan as like a selling point is that you can just press one button and do a quick restart. Because if you had to actually manually restart every time or if there was a loading time between restarts, oh boy, that would be frustrating. Heaven is a trip. Um, you mean total playtime as in how much time I put in or like the my combined fastest time? Oh, I have the world record on this. I have my um, frame record on this. Uh, my total playtime is just under 30 hours. I have 27 and a half hours on this game. And that's how much it took me to get ace medals on every stage. If you were just doing raw completion, it would probably be closer to around 10, 15 hours. Because I spent a lot of time just replaying stages for the express purpose of getting the ace time. Oh, this is a fun one. Not quite, not quite great. Nope. Alright, and then jump, jump, charge, charge. Ah, uh, that was a, that was a, a miffed. I miffed that one. That was a big miffers. Big miffs. Jump, charge, jump, jump, charge, charge. Jump, stump. St nope, that was wrong. That was wrong. The Mimic would kill ya. That was wrong. Charge. Jump, charge, jump, jump, charge, charge. Charge, stomp, shoot. Stomp, stomp. Charge, stomp. Charge, charge. Jump, charge, charge. Fire. Oh, that was a fuck up. Honestly, death is not a big deal. Because, like, you have three hit points in the level. That's fine. That's not really that's not really a problem. The problem is when you miss, because you need to kill all the demons in a level before you can turn it in. Oh, I was so close. Heaven is a trip. Heaven is a trip. 
Heaven is a trip indeed, background song. I beat my best! I beat you, Orange Creamsicle! Fuck you! I did it! I'm the best! Not you! Yes! And that's why I like this game. It's not because I enjoy... I mean, whatever, and I ha like, if you were on my Steam boards, um... Or if you were on my Steam friends list and you had this game on Steam, you could compete with me right now if you wanted to. Um, compete with my times. I don't claim to be the best at this game, um, but I, I am good enough. I am good enough at this game. But there is such a primal joy in getting just a fraction of a second faster. Just a fraction of a second fast. The hair faster than your friend. And knowing that you can screenshot this leaderboard and let them know that you kicked their ass. There is this global leaderboard here. I don't give a shit about it. I don't give a fucking shit about this shit. Who cares what the global score is? I don't know any of these fucking assholes. Screw them. But these people, on my friends list, I know these people. I know these people. Those times are the ones that matter to me. And that is how this game gets you. It gets you because you see your friends times and you think, I want to be just a little bit better than that. I want Orange Creamsicle to know that I beat his time on this fucking stage. Not every fucking stage, but this fucking stage. Orange Creamsicle, you know what you did. You got faster than me once. You're not going to do it again, motherfucker. And that's where this game strikes hardest. I... Am not I, I am a very competitive person by my nature. I like to win. If I'm playing him, I want to win it. And so this um this does like appeal to me in a very primal sense. Oh, see, look at this. Like I, I got Ace, but. I'm like a half a second off the best time on my friends list. Let's see if we can fix that tonight. Down, 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 charge. Oh, that was a fuck up. I forgot- I keep reading about the Mimics. You cannot smash them directly because they will explode and kill you if you do. Well, that was a fuck up. I know what I have to do now. I remember what I have to do. How to get rid of that, uh, missile launcher. Quickly. And keep going. Oh, that's... Yeah, that's wrong. Damn. Damn. And this, this is how the game gets you, because you know it's not 
Because if this shit seemed impossible, I fucking wouldn't even try it. But because it's it's so doable. It's so fucking doable. You know. You know you got this. You know you got this. Oh, I missed a demon. I missed two demons. If if it was like this, like, oh, the best time is like 20 seconds. I wouldn't even bother with this shit. But when you can when you do the stage, you can see, oh, that's how you get that time. I can see how that was done. I can see how that how someone might might come in this time. I can do that. And then they get you. That's how they get you. And it's so beautiful. And there's this escalation because every like, chapter induces either a new gun or some new mechanic. Sometimes even both. That, yeah, that's okay. We can move on to another stage. And that's what this game does. I need a shotgun, so. Can't do that. I did not enjoy doing this stage when I did it first, so I want to skip this level and move on. Oh yeah, this is fun. Part of it is also just me like part of it is mostly just like memorizing the stage because part a large part of doing well in this game is just knowing what the stage looks like. Heaven is a trip. Oh, I see. You do you do just stomp. I overthought it. And that gets you in this game. The, honestly, like Ruin Terra is is my chill game. I like I log into Rune Terra I usually like it's probably a function of when I log in because I log in when I'm like doing my lunch break at work and when I'm doing that I'm just not in the fucking mood but oh, I miss I missed several that run that's why I had to restart it That's wrong. That's wrong. Like, I do enjoy being competitive. I, I, I very much do enjoy that. That That's part of who I am. But, um, like, Ruin Terror is like, I play it at, at a time where I'm just trying to chill. 
And that's not really conducive to being competitive. That's a new record. I don't think it was my, it's the best for my... Oh! Best time on my friends list again! Holy shit! I don't even, I don't even think that was going to be the time. Holy shit. I'm screenshotting that. I'm screenshotting that because I need that for the record. I got some people to send emails to after this stream is over. Oh god. Oh fuck yes. I did not enjoy running this stage, so we're going to skip it. This is a fun one. These laser are mines, by the way. If you uh, trip them, you die. Ah, uh, sorry, I already I emptied my water in the middle of the stream, but I will uh, I will definitely hydrate after this last next next run. Cut, cut, cut. Whoopsie. All right, now we'll hydrate. Give me a second. Cheers. <clears throat> but to be honest, part of the game, like, part of the game that, like, what makes this game fun is that leaderboard. I enjoy this game's story. I enjoy Stephen Blum, uh, Steve Blum's voice acting. Steve Blum is an amazing voice actor. He will always be an amazing voice actor no matter what era of of anime we're in. Um, but really the, the biggest draw is the mechanical, like the, the game's mechanics and the leaderboard. Here's the thing, um, Wyvern. And why I say leaderboard is the biggest draw. Cause if you don't really enjoy the act of getting better, at the game of mechanics and getting better times and seeing your time against all your other friends. This game is probably not for you. And that's okay. That's perfectly okay. There's nothing wrong with that at all. But the game is built fundamentally at its core to appeal to those like hyper competitive time climbers those people who spend hours and hours and hours and hours speed running just to get a fraction of a second faster at, the, at a stage and that's like that that is the spirit of the game so if the leader if that doesn't appeal to you the game probably doesn't and that's not a bad thing that just means it doesn't it doesn't care to your personal tastes But that is, that is what the game is trying to appeal to at the end of the day. Part of what's made this a really good era in video games is that no matter what kind of player you are, 
there is a game for you out there. And that's not to say that you can't enjoy this game, because there's still, like, a fundamental joy in doing the platforming. But that that is that is where the game gets you is striving for that like that moment I had where I beat my friend's time. That is the kind of thing the game wants you to to really enjoy. To be clear, I I Orange Creepsicle is on my friends list. He is a friend of mine. I know him. I know his real name. When I am telling him to fuck off for a better time than me, I am being a little tongue in cheek about it. I am being a little tongue in cheek about it. I don't. I I actually like we 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 literally talked about this the other day about how. We've been trying to compete with other's times for 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 how he how he's beat a couple of my times and vice versa. We've actually had this conversation. So if you have like if you have worse experiences than that like that, this this probably isn't the game for you. Oh yes, this one. I remember this one because I spent so much time on it. The, yeah, the gimmick here is that the, um... I mean, if you enjoy the actual puzzle platforming... There probably still is something for you here, just you would have to... Really focus more on that aspect of the game than anything else. Jump, jump, smash, target, target, and hope I got it. Jump, jump, jump. This should. I don't actually know if I got that demon. No, I missed some. Oh, that's fucked. Oh, damn. That would have been a good time. Because you need to shoot them and shoot them and then... Oh, no, that's wrong. I'll be honest, Wyvern, I can't... Like, I, I haven't lived in your shoes. So I can't tell you whether or not this is, like, that's this that's the right decision for you. That's something you have to decide on your own. And you have. And that's, there's no, nothing wrong with that. But I, I cannot be that arbiter. I can't really, like, judge whether your decision is, like, morally correct. Because it, it's... We're talking about a video game at the end of the day. And if you're not enjoying it, then I, I, don't, want you to I don't want you to force yourself to play it. Um, but I will say that, like, I am enjoying it. Because I can only speak to my own personal experience. And maybe what I find fun isn't what you're having, what you find fun about the game, and that's also perfectly fine. I, I can only speak to, like, my experience. My experience is that the, the leaderboards for me 
are part of the appeal. And that will not be everyone. But that is me. And I can only speak to, ultimately in the day, myself. Oh, that's not... Oh, I could do better. That's fine. If, if leaderboards aren't your thing, then don't worry about them. Like... Like, for me, I... Like, when I got the ace time, I moved on, and... If I thought I could beat the lead time, I did, but other than that, I got ace, I was fine. Nope, that's wrong. Should be more demons dead by that point. But I do enjoy the act of, like, improving on my own times. If for nothing else than my own personal satisfaction. Alright, this shit, this, this, oh no, that's wrong, shit. Oh, that was a good run, too. That's wrong. Should be more demons dead. It the count does h actually help because once you know a run well enough, you know when the count is off, and if the count is off, your run is off. I do want to say that I see the modded comment, and I don't think it's bad. I would approve it. Except this game does not handle return to desktop well. So I don't want to like uh I don't want to like go to my wallpaper in the middle of the stream cuz that's a little unprofessional. But there is nothing inherently wrong with that comment. I just think it's hilarious that, mod that auto mods saw the word anal and thought, no, 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 that can't be, that can't be allowed. That's not wrong. That's bad. That's wrong. For the record, auto mods said the word anal is a bad word, so don't don't use it in auto mods presence because it will hate you. This is correct. Jump, jump, jump. All right, we should be good. That is, I think, the best time. Yes! Beat you again, Orange Creamsicle. Beat you again. Huh. And that is what makes this game, for me, for me personally, so good. Because I'm going to tell my friend Orange Creamsicle about the fact that I've beaten his times. And he's going to go try to, uh, to beat mine. And then if I intend to keep playing these games, I might not because I'm, I'm kind of like, I beat the story, so I'm, I'm more or less done with it. Um, but if I do come back and see that he's beaten my times, the whole process starts all over again, baby. And it's going to be fun. It feels good. It feels good. I mean, yes, eventually there is going to be a cap to what can be done. 
And I am certain, honestly, the task runs for this game when they do come to AG AGDQ, because this is a game that is basically tailor made for awesome games done quick. And when the Taz run of it comes out, and we can see <clears throat> what is the literally the 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 top tier what you can possibly do. That's gonna be interesting. Um yeah, like cluster truck kind of. Like cluster truck. That's that's actually not an inappropriate comparison. It's a very accurate that's a very that's a very good one. I do expect this set to be an awesome game's done quick. Cause this is a game that like There's there is more than this speed rank me. There's an entire Was it the AGDQ? Um because this game just came out. I would be kind of shocked if it came, if uh, if it was at AGDQ when it literally just came out a few weeks ago. It's still relatively new. Right, but even if you even if um even if it was like uh, if AGDQ was a few weeks after it came out, there still needs to be time to set up strategies for this game. Like the the game needs to like the like yeah it, like the timing doesn't doesn't matter up because even if the game is did come out before GDQ did, people have to actually like research strategies and practice runs. You don't just cold run a, a speed run in EGQ. You have to actually like do the time and know you can do it reliably. Um, but. Once that time has happened, once you've given the game like maybe half a month to a year, receiver runners can iterate and and know what is possible. This is going to be an amazing thing to watch being speedrun. This is going to be incredible to watch speedruns of. Four hours for hundred percent new game. Interesting. Okay, there's only one list that makes sense. There's only one listing so far. I imagine that that's gonna come down quite a bit. Because I am not a speedrunner. But you come here. You can actually check your total time for the game. This time here is the sum total of all of my best runs for each stage. Like, if there was a roll of all of my gameplay from the f from start to finish of all of my ace runs, it would be 75 minutes long. I am not a speedrunner. I am just a, f a little freak who enjoys beating his friends at speedrunning games. But I am not a speedrunner. I I don't spend all of my time practicing this game. And for the people that do, they will inevitably get times that are better than mine. Let's see, that's global. I mean, I'm the 3,000th best player of the game. 3,114. That's actually not bad for a global ranking. So, a cor currently, the world record time is 42 minutes from start to finish. No cutscenes, all gameplay.
And that includes all the bonus stages too. Which means that considering the people who do this speedrunning have to actually like skip cutscenes, which will probably add like a couple minutes to the time, you can reasonably expect, I would say, a speedrun in maybe like 15 minutes, 15 minutes to an hour. I think it'd be a fair estimate for a DDQ run. I think that would be reasonable. Because you have to factor in the fact that they have to go through all of the loading and all of that shit um, when doing a run. They don't just get to have the benefit of, of doing the raw time at GDQ. You have to actually load and play the game on stage. But I think an hour is probably a reasonable estimate for this. And that would be interesting. It will be, it'll be interesting to watch. I, I would want to watch that run, if it happens. Because that is kind of the spirit of the game. I will accept that friend request when I am not on stream. Because I don't want to broadcast everything to the... Maybe like the 10 people that watch my streams. <laughs> um, let's see what the worst time is. Oh, these people haven't finished the game yet. That's why the times are so low. That's why the times they haven't finished the game yet. That's how that's how that's happening. But that is that is neon white. I have had an absolute blast with this game, and if you are someone who does enjoy like bettering your own times and performance. Or competing with your friends over over times. That this is um, this is the game for you. As you have a robust friends list with people who who do play this game as well. Like the more people you have that play this game, the better your time of it will be. Honestly, in my in my opinion, because you get to see how they've done and try to beat them. Maybe you don't. You just get ace and move on, but knowing that, that that they've done that, that they're playing that game with you asynchronously almost. It it feels it feels good. And then you can go and talk to them and go, hey, how did you do this? Or hey, I beat your time. And that is kind of like that is what this game is more about. It's just like the social aspect of of these kinds of runs. <laughs> I need to get back into constructed Ruin Terror because I've played a lot of Path of Champions. Because I enjoy that the Path of Champions a lot. But I need to get back into trying some constructed decks at some point. Maybe later. Maybe in the, in the near future. But honestly, also, yeah, if you just enjoy doing the story for this... I enjoyed the story for this game. I enjoyed it quite a bit. I thought it was pretty good. And I think if you, like, beat the game and, like, just do the stories and possibly all the friend stuff... That's also perfectly fine. If that's what you enjoy. Nothing wrong with that. I would play Fuser on stream if that wasn't a way to get instantly demonetized. I would play Fuser on stream. I would play it regularly if it wasn't a gateway to be instantly taken off of YouTube. Permanently. And that makes me sad every time I think about Fuser. It's why I stopped playing Fuser, is because I, I kept going, I want to share this, I want to play this on stream, and then going, oh, I can't. That's why I stopped playing that game. It's not because the game is bad, it's because the shit around it, the D, like DMCA copyright law, is a fucking nightmare to, to navigate.
Fortunately, we do have stuff like Neon White, which, um, no YouTube problems with this. So we get to just have fun on stream and do a couple of runs and beat it a couple of times. We beat three times in this hour, and that's actually, for me, that's incredible. That's more than I expected to ever be able to do in such a short time. I beat three of Orange Creamsicles times. I got three friend, like top records on my friends lists during this stream. That, for me, is unbelievable. That's amazing. I'm happy about that. And I'm happy to have shared that with my friends on stream. But until next time, I think we're going to wrap up for now. On Sunday, we will continue our adventures with Sly Cooper and the Band of Thieves. But for now, remember to wear your mask, social distance, wash your hands, get your vaccines, get your booster shots. Black lives still matter. Trans lives still matter. Stop Asian hate. And all lives cannot matter until minority lives matter. Have a great evening. I will see you next time. Bye. Bye.